that, sweetheart. Where are we going now? Uh, going off into the lounge, into the sun so lounge. Now? Come on. Mm -hmm. Come off there, Pebby. Oui. All right. That's nice, eh? Yeah. That's it. Lovely. Oh, I've got, got nearly the sun. OK. And I'm going to just get the room ready for Marcy then now, cos she'll come and sit here. When, when's she coming? At 11. What does she come for? She comes to talk to you. Oh. She comes to talk to you and she does the crosswords with you, doesn't she? Oh, yes, I believe so. Yeah. OK? <laughs> All right. All right. The individual budget means that I'm not so stressed. <laughs> <laughs> it means that I, it means that I'm not tearing my hair out all the time because of course um, the, the the questions and the repeated questions go on and on and on particularly when we're on our own together will you be, will you be warm enough without your coat on sweetheart oh, I don't know I, th I think I better bring your coat you can you, now can you put these on can you get your shoes on mm. while I get your coat I can tell Jeff a hundred times what day it is, what season it is, uh, and although I say, well, look out of the window and see what season it is, it still doesn't register. I'm Jeff's wife, uh, and my role is one of caring for my husband. I have been doing that for about six, seven years now, full-time caring. I was a teacher, but retired round about 2002, um, because obviously I needed to be full care at home because he's a bit unsteady on his feet. He can't see very well. He's been registered blind. Uh, and so therefore I do need to be around and need that he's got his stick available and that he comes down the stairs carefully. I help him to get up, get dressed, go to the bathroom, do all that's necessary there. And of course, throughout, make sure that he comes down. He can shave himself still. So, he, and everything that he can do himself, I let him do. That's terribly important but I'm always around. It was a bit confusing because I couldn't understand, of course, what was happening. Uh, there were times when, um, he, obviously, memory was going. There were one or two bits which made me think there's something wrong here. And, of course, that's when I consulted the doctor. He went to see the, the brain person at Louth and Jeff had a scan and it came through that he'd got Alzheimer's. And at that stage, I said, well, don't mention Tell me, but don't say it to Jeff, because I knew that that would, at that time, he would be well aware of what that meant. Um, he, not perhaps now, but he would be then, and I thought he'd go to pieces. So I, we've never mentioned that word to Jeff. Over the years I've been coming, you know, Jeff has just relied more and more and more on Hazel, and without her help now, he probably, well, he wouldn't be able to, Without a doubt, he wouldn't be able to stay at home on his own. You know, Hazel can't really go out shopping without making sure that somebody's there to look after Jeff. You know, just just popping out to see a friend in the village can't can't happen anymore. Some things, well, any time now, I'll be planting things around these bowls. Without the individual budget to pay for domestic help, I would have to do it, um, and I, I, I was beginning to find that um, very tiring because I'm getting older as well, uh, very tiring. And also um, it meant that I was spending more time doing that and Jeff was sleeping in the sun lounge, fast asleep all the time, not keeping him awake. So I th think that's a great sort of pro for the individual budget. And of course, I wouldn't be able to pay to have work done in the garden and I would have to do it and that would be very stressful. And in fact, there's certain things that I couldn't do. All those things upset me and if it upsets me, it upsets the person I'm caring for because of course I can't, I can't be equable and it pays off because it means that Jeff's happy. He's got a lot to contend with. Now we come. My, my role has always right. been pretty much the same with Hazel and Jeff, is to try and give, pretty, to monitor Jeff's condition, to liaise with other services and to offer support. So, you know, offering support now is maybe a bit easier because I can say, Hazel, I think that you're getting really tired and maybe we should be looking at respite and things like that. I was looking for, but I'm not sure how big that's going to be. And it's a lovely break. I, I was offered um, this uh, care break uh, from uh, the Alzheimer's Society. Uh, so Marcy comes, and she comes for three hours on a Wednesday. 
I feel I'm giving Hazel peace of mind so that to enable her to get a break and to know that Jeff is with somebody and is being cared for. That allows me to have perhaps some time just in the greenhouse. If there's a particular job that I can't do when Jeff's around because he's, he, he comes after me and is looking for me, um, I do that. So I get help in the house, I get help in the garden, I, help, I get help with the respite so that I can have a bit of a holiday because Jeff no longer wants to go away. Um, he feels secure and safe in his own home and the places that he's really familiar with and so he doesn't want to go away at all. Hazel as a carer, I think it actually has, has enabled her to concentrate on Jeff when she needs to. I think, for example, that she now has a cleaner because, you know, things like that are the things that carers can't do and it increases the stress, stress levels. So I think for Hazel as a carer, it's meant that she can focus on the bits that she needs to buy in and that might be to buy in so that she can give Jeff time, but also to look at the bits that she can bring in to give her the time to have a break herself just to, to recharge your batteries. I've only started the individual budget in August this last year. Uh, and so we haven't had it a year yet, uh, but I have been monitored as to how I'm using it. The social worker who, who sorted it out for me is happy about it and said, now you're on your own, you can go on. Yes, you're fine, you're doing all right. Because I told her all the things that I was using it for, and she said, yes, that's all right. Um, and she did say at that time, you know, uh, I think at the end of the year, probably there'll be an assessment. Um, and of course, I've kept all the accounts and I keep a, a record of everything that I'm spending and, and keep the bills, the receipts. Um, uh, there'll come a time when they'll come and check that up, see, and if, and I was told that if, if it needed to be adjusted, it would be adjusted. Uh, there'll come a time perhaps when I can't get him out of bed, uh, when I can't get him out of the bath, when I can't do things physically, because obviously he's deteriorating all the time. He's deteriorating physically as well as mentally. And so there will come a time when I will use, I'll have to perhaps have some more caring. At the moment, I can do all the physical caring. I can do all that. Um, I don't need help there. But I will. Do, I can see a time when I'll need it. Uh, at the moment, I can take him over to the chapel. I can take him to the church, um, and we can walk a bit of the way. And of course, I've got the car, so I can take him out. But but um, there'll come a time when possibly I won't be able to do that, and then I'll need a wheelchair to take him. Because I can have so much help because of Jeff's individual budget, that that means that my stress levels are lower and it means that I can keep well enough to keep looking after him.